Good morning. Happy Friday the 13th. I'm going to do a brief weekend energy. Because I can only sit in this position for so long. So, Friday the 13th, Saturday the 14th, to Sunday the 15th. And to the 16th, you know me. I always got to go to Monday. Weekend energy. Okay. Got the Ace of Swords, so you might have some communication coming in. Truths being told. Being smart about what you decide to do. It's all about, it's all about your smarts. We have the Knight of Cups. Empathy. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who... I think somebody is going to be empathetic is what I'm getting or it's telling you to, you know, or, but it's also saying be smart, you know, cause is somebody really sympathizing with you or you know what I mean? Yeah. See, it's, it's weird. Two of swords decision, you know, decision needs to be made, but there's, there's a little confusion. So it's very up in the air, like if you do happen to get communication, is somebody seeing something, you know, it is it is the Knight of Cups, you could meet someone new over the weekend, um, a new type of energy, could be a new person or a past person with new new energy, but like then I feel like this person doesn't really know how to go about it. And if they do, someone ends up with the confusion. You know what I mean? Some like when it's let me just see real quick. One more for this weekend, please. Mm -hmm. King of Swords. So you're dealing with somebody who's who's freaking smart, you know. Definitely knows the light right from the left. <laughs> um yeah, see, there is some type of communication coming in, some type of message. It's either going out or coming in. It's however this read is going down for you. And we got two of wands, so we got two twos. And these are both about decisions, and two of swords is decision making, but there is a path, okay? It's a two of wands. It's, it's a path given by spirit, the universe, an opportunity, you know, the, it, got the magician at the bottom of the deck. So it looks like there's going to be some type of messaging, truths being told, um, could be how someone feels about you considering it's the Knight of Cups. When it's said and done, a decision's going to need to be made. You know, um, I did just split the deck at the five of pence in the tower. <clears throat> Someone could possibly feel left out or lonely. But you're dealing with an air sign who kind of wants to discuss their feelings, but on a logical, practical level. You know what I mean? So I don't know what type of situation you gotta get because I just saw the page of cups and the queen of swords so it's almost like queen of swords she's just as mental too you know like sh like sh it might be very straightforward messages I don't see romantic I don't you know what I'm saying like this is how I feel sharp communication tell me about the ace of swords got the three of wands so again this is somebody could be at a distance from you you might be meeting up with somebody to have a conversation or this is, you know, the internet back and forth, email, texting. Um, I'm not going to go there with a third party um, because it's the first one out. Um, patience with the situation. I do feel like there is still something. I do feel like there's some type of past that needs to be released so there can be an opportunity. Um, but this also talks of manifestation. So tell me about the Knight of Cups. 
so if somebody could be at a distance, you have communication coming in from a distance. This seems like somebody might want to restore balance within a situation. So the hangman coming out of it though because it's reversed. So if something was on delay, it looks a little better. So somebody is walking away from a situation, something that was holding them up initially. You guys might talk about that. There is a new start here. This is somebody going towards, you know, happiness, a new direction. Um, tell me about the two of swords. If they were confused, they're, they're not anymore. Yeah, we got the devil though. Okay, so this is, there's some type of tie between the devil and somebody within a household, whoever she represents, got the nine of pence underneath. Somebody needs to free themselves, but it looks like they are. Tell me about the king of swords. Somebody might want to communicate with you to find out how you possibly feel before they go in and make moves because you got justice reversed there. So if that happens to be a marriage, there's something going on within the marriage over the weekend that's that's not great. There's definitely distance between you guys. You might be talking about separating. If that's the case, that's going to be a very argumentative energy. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. There could have been a Libra in someone's life that's no longer in the King of Swords' life. <clears throat> and we got the Empress. So it looks like there's an Empress-type energy, a mother, somebody that's abundant, or somebody they look at as you know, a future. So there's going to be some type of message that goes to the Empress, or the Empress is going to send the message, however it goes down. Or this is going down in the household and they're delivering this message to an Aquarius, Taurus, Libra. She got the star reversed. Not feeling hopeful about a situation. Won too many battles. So we definitely have a couple situations on the board. Tell me about the eight of two of wands. But this is a decision that is needs to be made. So you got the world, okay? You might think something's over, but it's not over. Somebody needs to let go of something toxic. Somebody needs to walk away from could be a marriage, a long time commitment, a third party. Someone needs to let go of a karmic situation first. So it looks like over the weekend it's it's releasing something karmic. Someone's just not happy within their situation anymore. Tell me about the devil. Could be a little fear, a little hesitation. The tower. Yeah, it's, it's going down, holding on. Because someone's holding on to the past. Someone, this group doesn't belong. So the group I'm talking to right now doesn't belong in a certain situation ship because it's it's over. It's the past. It needs to be wrapped up. The universe will make sure of it. <clears throat> um, someone keeps bringing up the past. All you know what I mean? Like, could there possibly be a third party? Yeah, but they're not focused on. If there's a third party, they're not focused on another energy. There is it's someone who's focused on the past. Somebody brought the past into the current situation. It keeps reoccurring. Past needs to be gone. Tell me about the world. So it's almost like something needs, something's being manifested or something going in a new direction. So you got the Knight of Swords in and out, in and out energy, but this is not in and out energy right now. This is somebody who doesn't want to be in and out of someone's life. Yeah, it's, just, it's the same energy. So it looks to me like Someone might, an argument could have already went down because the five of swords didn't come out. It went straight to the six and I felt the five up here. So this argument what might have already went down and now you got one energy going in a new direction. And it would be to towards happiness. So somebody over the weekend might express how they feel.
and then and then another group it's walking getting out of a situation could be a possible marriage the empress is there you know so you might get communication this weekend you might not this might be communication within a household of what's kind of going down and others of you will actually get a message. I know he, he, according to the depiction, has some type of agenda. Because they're coming forth. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. This could have been somebody that was in that of your life a lot with the Page of Wands being reversed. the Knight of Cups with their intentions. Let's just see what the Knight of Cups intentions are. King of Pence. Um, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. Well, the King of Pence would have great intentions, okay? And it is one of the kings that, you know, talks about commitment. Tell me about the King of Pence real quick. Yeah, see, I think, because I was going to say, that that's kind of more like a husband, too. Okay, so there's definitely a third party here, but um, walking away from one situation, which could be the marriage, to go towards this situation. Tell me about the Empress. Because that's the path that's unjustified, right? They're side by side. That's the path that's not making sense. <clears throat> Tell me about the Empress. Yeah, holding on. Holding on to something that's not good. You know, it's, it's time to release. Definitely holding back. Holding on. I got the four of pence. The eight of wands wanted to flip out, which is right there. So it looks like she's gonna get a message, and it's oh. five of pence reverse. If you were feeling lonely, lack of comfort, not not anymore. Um, so it's, it's almost like she's not even fighting, which is not how that energy usually comes in. Whoever she is, is like getting over, getting over pain, getting over something real quick. Not real quick, but not real long either. You know what I mean? This is a court couple here. This couple is meant to be together, especially with the tower, the devil, divine partnerships too. This is this is a future spouse. It's a forever ever. It's one of those. It's, it's just kind of ironic she's coming in this way. She normally doesn't come in that way, which is good. So maybe something already went down. Or it's going down. Tell me about this three of wands real quick. Because that's your ship, that's like your ships are here. You know, like something that's that's the universe saying it's, it's time almost, you know. Um, I don't really ever look at that card as patience. I know some readers do, but this is to me foreign lands, distance, ships are here, you know. So the Hermit Reverse coming out of seclusion, you know, coming out of a dead-end scenario, moving forward to happiness, only giving to one person, you know. So enjoy your weekend. Um, I hope it helped. And I'll see you when I, when I can see you, okay?
Um, Looks like someone made a decision. What was all that confusion again? That was, uh, tell me about confusion. So I'm staring at it, I can't see it. Yes, someone's coming back around to open up, talk about deception, whatever, whether it was deception or um, sabotage, why they lied about something. I feel like this person would be like, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that would be like, it, it wasn't a lie, you know, um why someone was possibly restricted. I just feel like you're dealing with somebody eight of clubs, yeah, so it's like somebody is it wouldn't be an excuse, right? But somebody who's like, well it's not a lie if I didn't tell you, you never asked. Like I don't know if you're dealing with somebody like that, you know, which is a little arrogant, but I didn't really see arrogance like that. You do have the Knight of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune here, something going in their direction, and with the Sun. Okay, so it's definitely divinely guided. Judgment: Will somebody forgive? Will somebody not? Because it's reversed. You know. Um, so it is what it is. Um, let me get one additional message for you, and then I'm gonna wrap this up. Overall message for the weekend. Strength. You know, courage, compassion. Going for it. Someone's got some regrets about something, but that will all come out in due time. I love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend, okay? Bye, troops.